Today we are going to be painting our birch trees. We will be using watercolor, so we'll need water and a paintbrush, and one of these mixing sheets. The mixing sheets can be found on the supply market in the purple basket. I'm going to begin by using a white oil pastel to draw in some snow. Now some of these oil pastels are really dirty, so you just need to flip your paper over and give it a good clean by just rubbing it around on the back of your page and then you'll be good to go. Using my oil pastel, I can either do some speckles like I'm doing right here, or you can draw circles to make your snow. Just keep in mind, you don't wanna make your circles too big because snow is very tiny when it's falling from the sky. When we paint over these, they're going to show up very well and you'll be able to see that white showing through. Now that I have my snow drawn on, I'm ready to paint this gray tone for the snow. I know that seems really odd, but we're going to use a little well of black and I'm just going to get a very small dab of that onto my mixing sheet that we got from the supply market. I'm going to put this little dab of black onto here and then to make a gray tone, normally you would add white, but when it comes to watercolors, you just add more water. Now the reason why we're doing this for the snow is to make sure that our trees show up as well as the snow that is falling from the sky. Now when you're mixing watercolors, it's sometimes hard to see its true color. So before you start slathering that color all over your page, you want to do a little test spot. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the bottom of my page and just to make sure that that is the right gray tone that I wanted. You don't want this to be very dark at all. It needs to be very, very light gray. Mine's looking a little dark, so I'm going to continue to add more water. You will not need to dip back into the black well because if you do, that's just adding more black pigment to your mixture, which is not what you will need if you're wanting a very light gray tone. I'm then going to make sure I'm carefully filling in the hills of my picture. As these pages dry, they will become lighter of a gray tone. Now I'm ready to paint the sky. What type of colors have you seen in the sky? I know that during sunsets, there are lots of colors that you may see. We're going to look at a color wheel here. So a color wheel will show the order of how colors lay. And we're going to choose three different colors that are side by side on the color wheel. So I'm going to decide to do pink, blue, and purple. So this well has all three of the colors that I need, the pink, the blue, and the purple. And I'm just gonna go right in with my water because these are watercolors. You need to have water to let them work. You can already see my little snow dots starting to show up. I'm just going to fill in this top area and making sure I'm very careful around the hills. Once I finish with one color, I'm going to make sure I wash my brush off very well so I can go into the next color. And because these are colors that are side by side, or what you might call analogous colors, you can overlap them and they'll still look beautiful. And that's all I have for you for art class today. I hope you enjoy your watercolor painting.